We uh, found a seesaw, guys. <laughs> I love seesaws. I'm fine with it like this, but when I am like about to fly over your head, that's when I freak out. I did? Yes, I do. <laughs> You're like not even at a 45 degree angle. I know, but it feels like I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is a really short seesaw, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are a little bit long, guys. <laughs> Look, guys, chickens. Chicken. There's a bunch of chickens over there. I don't think those were there when I was here. Probably not, because you were surprised when I pointed them out earlier. Yeah. yeah. There used to just be dogs over there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're at Sarah's parents' house. Sarah just went to Megan's bridal shower. Bridal shower. It was fun. And we, uh, then we came here. This doesn't really work. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> With my feet up, I mean. <laughs> Your feet don't really matter because yeah. I'm heavier. Yep. Um, and then we stayed here for a little barbecue that they're doing in the front yard. We're in the back because her brother was showing us his little compost bins. It's called it a tumbler, I guess that's what it is. It tumbles the compost. It is, is your compo comp compost tumbled or? Stirred. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, man. Anyway, we should probably go back to the baby. He's seeping. Yeah. Or don't he's worry, waking up. Don't yeah. Worry. He's just at the end of the driveway <gasps> by himself. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. Why? Why do you hate wow. me? <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That thing, that was probably more use than that thing gets normally in like a month. Uh, I really have no idea. Purple flowers! <gasps> Purple flowers! <laughs> he was playing the piano until I started pulling out the camera. And we were going to be like, look, found a real piano. Or two. He wants the other one now. <laughs> You were talking just a minute ago. What happened? Uh. Oh, come on. Use your words again. Uh. Maybe if I'm leaving. <laughs> ba da da ba da. Ba. Bad. Bad. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, bunk. No, we're not bunking anymore on this. Da. Look at these wings, so perfect to hold you. I'd like to say again what I have already told you. Let me be your personal penguin. Imagine me, your personal penguin. I want to be your personal penguin from now on. Please. The end. No, we don't have that one for you. Hey, wake up. <laughs> we don't want to read that one right before bed. <laughs> yeah. That was super cute, so I had to film it. <laughs> he was just cuddling in, looking as he read the book, his and sucking on his toothbrush. <laughs> hey guys, so I have to tell you, ow, oh that hurt, dang, I hit the edge of this box with my arm, and it like screamed. Okay. 
Anyway, so I have to tell you about our little adventure today. So we went up to Bountiful so that Sarah could go to Megan's bridal shower up there. And then I, Colson and I went and hung out with Sarah's parents and family um, while she was there. And then I picked her up. And then Anyway, so here's the adventure part, though. So Sarah drives up there because that long a drive I will fall asleep unless I'm listening to like an audio book and we don't have an audio book for me to listen to so I would have fallen asleep. So we switch spots and she gets out when we get there and it's like up this really steep, windy, scary road, right? So I then get into drive and every time that the car stops... So the car's now suddenly having problems. She didn't notice anything. But then as soon as I turned the car back on, it was, like, freaking out. Whenever the car was stopped, it would, like... Like, it, like, did this weird jerky thing. Like, it's trying to decide, like... Like, should should I go? Or should I should I get into first gear and drive? Or, oh, wait. Or maybe I should turn off. Or... And it, like, feels like it's just gonna shut off all of a sudden. And it's like, should I go? No. Off? Off? Maybe? I don't know. Should I? What am I gonna do? And it's, like, freaking out. So, um... I'm kind of worried a little bit, but I drive over to Sarah's parents, and I made it there just fine, and I parked the car, and a couple hours later, I have to go get Sarah again, and the car's doing it again while I'm driving. I left Colson there, thankfully, um, because this time, I'm driving, and I get to that really big hill, which is really steep, too. Like, it's scary going up there. If there was snow, our little car would never make it. Um, didn't make it this time, either. Because I'm like, I've got the pedal all the way down, and we I can't even hit 30 on this hill. And the car's like freaking out. Oh, and on this drive, the, the check service engine soon light came on while I was driving. But I didn't think much of it, because like the first year that we had the car, that light was on pretty much constantly. Even though there was nothing wrong with the car. <coughs> it was weird. Anyway, so that light came on. And then as I'm going up this hill and the car's like struggling and jolting, it was also having trouble, it seemed to have trouble changing gears. So up until you get up to like 40 or 50, it's still doing that weird little freak out thing a little bit, but it's not as bad as when you're stopped. So going up this hill and and it's like freaking out. And then that, that service engine soon light starts blinking angrily at me. It was very mad at me. So I'm just kind of like, uh, and we're like not at 30 and there's some guy behind me like tailgating and there's not enough space for me to pull off. And I'm like, ah, so I finally like turn off on this road and I text Sarah and I'm like, Hey, so I had to stop before making it all the way up there. And she's like, should I walk or, or she said, should I start walking down? And I'm like, I guess, although it would probably be better to get a ride because it's like two miles. And she's like, too late. I'm already walking. So, I look in the engine, but I don't know much about the engine except for how to check, like, the oil and the uh, steering fluid, because we already knew we had a problem with the steering fluid. But we're getting that fixed this week. We The, the shop ordered the part in, but that didn't look like it was very low, and the oil was fine. So I'm like, great, I don't know what's wrong with it. So I then start walking up the hill, and we met, like, in the middle, which it was really dumb to walk up that hill, because it's like... It's like this steep, which is crazy steep for driving as it is. And then walking like a mile to meet her in the middle and then walking back down was crazy. Yeah, so we made it, thankfully, back to her parents. And then we did manage to make it home, although it was freaking Sarah out the whole time. Um, But yeah, it's just kind of like, great, we're pretty, there's a problem with the transmission. That's kind of our conclusion is that hopefully it's just like the transmission fluid is low was what her dad said, hopefully. And so we don't have to actually get, like, the transmission fixed. I don't know exactly what that entails. I'm not a car person. I don't know anything about cars. I'll let other people buy my car for me. I don't know. Like, my wife. Anyway. But yeah, that's her story. It was, like, crazy. Trying to get there. And I was kind of, like... And then Sarah was freaking out even more on the way home. We actually took a back way when we got to the Walmart in Provo. 
there's a back way that we took so that we'd be on less busy roads just when we hit lights so that we didn't have to be as worried about stopping. Because it really did feel like the car was just going to shut off at any second when you're stopped. It's weird. Anyway, that's our story. But we made it, and everybody's fine, and Colson's in bed, and Sarah just walked to the store, or just left to walk to the store to get milk. Because tomorrow's Sunday, and we're low on milk. And here's Eeyore. Thanks for noticing me. This is Colson's favorite toy, is my Eeyore. He's pretty great. He's like a big cuddly guy, and so Colson just loves just like burying himself in him. It's adorable. I think we've probably got some footage of it, I'd assume. We're making brownies. We had to we had to get a brownie thing and make brownies because somebody gave us this thing that you can't see in there. It's it's a brownie pan that makes all edges. Yeah. Which I mean some people like they love the edges, so it's like, yay. I did as a kid, I loved the edges, but that was mostly because because we would eat all the other brownies and then the edges would be left and I could have as many of those as I wanted and nobody cared. So I loved the edges back then. But a pan that just does edges seems a little silly to me. But we got it for our wedding and we've never used it. And we were like, well, we should get rid of this. But, but I was like, but I'll feel bad if we don't ever use it. So we had to use it once. So Sarah made brownies this morning. We'll see how they turned out. Yeah. That'd be so exciting. <clears throat> also, that little clip from last night where I hit my arm on that little block thing, I have a bruise now. It's ridiculous. All I did was that. Like, just bonk. And it hurt a lot. And now I'm bruised. My body's falling apart. It's a problem. No. Okay, guys, we just got a clip that didn't save, so we're going to try to reenact it exactly the same. <laughs> Look, brownies! I don't remember what I said. I Dang it. Said. No. <laughs> well, here they are, the brownies that are all edges. And we've come to the conclusion that we should make brownies in muffin pans sometime, because they'll be delicious. And the boy just woke up. I was talking too loud. Dang it. <laughs> Brownies. He's a little floating head, ready for his first haircut. Well, he's probably not actually ready, but whatever. Oh, I'm yeah. not ready. I don't know what I'm doing. We don't know how to give him a haircut. We're just going to try it. <gasps> What's going on? Well, and we're going to be putting some videos on for him to watch. Yeah, play some know. music videos to distract him. He loves those. His favorites right now are Megan Trainer's Better, Better When I'm Dancing and uh, Try Everything from the Zootopia soundtrack. And you said you think Shake It Off. But and Shake said, It Off. He loves Shake It Off. That's his favorite one to dance to. Mm -hmm. So. Alrighty. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, you're spraying him. Yeah. Spray the baby. Spray. <laughs> that, one, that one got him. He's like... <laughs> Oh, you guys saw it. That's right. I was filming it. <laughs> I didn't. Did I didn't have it. to demonstrate it for you guys. Just for her. <laughs> oh, do you not like it? Is it time for a music Going video? On. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Here we go. First cut. I don't know. It's so long there. I know. Look at this. <laughs> and. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yay, little Woo! girls. Go away, Go Baby away. girls and a leaf. <laughs> and a leaf. <laughs> There's a leaf. It's like a little panda face with the with the eyes and the little nose. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> it's okay, the song's telling us to try everything. It's true. So we're trying. It's also telling me that I'm going to make mistakes every day. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 
Hi, baby. You getting a haircut? Are you so confused by the fact that your body disappeared? <laughs> He's kind of adorable. <laughs> Panda! Hi, little man. How you doing? Hi. Is mama cutting your hair? These little curls on the front are so cute. It's a good thing he can enjoy these over and over again. He started dancing. He was dancing a minute ago. Are you gonna dance some more or are you done? I guess he's done. No more dancing. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. He had to wait for mom to be about to cut more hairs. Yep, he loves Taylor Swift. This is the one that always gets him dancing. He's got a little horn. Oh, hi. Little curl growing into a horn. Are you singing along? Just going. Are you ready to be done, baby? I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing either. I think it's fine. I think if you keep going, you're just going to keep making it shorter. Yeah, but it's longer up here than back here. And it's weird. We're almost done. Go in. Hold on. Longer where than where? Here than hmm. here. Hmm. Just a little bit. Summer's getting tired. Yeah, and he keeps rubbing his eyes with hair. It's no wonder it's not helping. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look, all done. There's a cute boy with his first haircut. There, now we can see the back, kinda. Of course, he has that funny calic that makes his hair poof back here. I don't know how well you can see it because I don't know what's going on. Anyway. He's adorable. My little boy's so much older looking. You want to vlog? You just want me to hold you? That's all? That's all you want? Oh. Okay. Pull it you can come with me and we can vlog together. Because I wanted to vlog about this brownie pan that we mentioned earlier this week. Um, that remember how we were making it like just once and then we were gonna get rid of the pan well Chris decided that he really liked it and so he doesn't want to get rid of it I'm like no we need to get rid of stuff we have too much stuff but he decided he really likes it because it actually didn't make the edges nearly as like hard and tough as the edges are in a in a uh, normal square or rectangular pan and so the edge it didn't really seem like edges much and it portioned it out so perfectly. He was like, there's there's no way somebody can say they got a bigger piece. And I'm like, ugh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the pieces are huge anyway. Like, anyway, um, so yeah, that was what I wanted to say about that. I also, I don't think you can see it anymore, but Coulson gave himself a little goose egg on his forehead there, and his nose is pretty red too. Um, it was more noticeable yesterday because yesterday morning he was climbing on the couch and he fell over the back over there and landed on his head. Kind of freaked us out a little bit, but eh. okay, it's hard to switch hands when I'm holding you and the camera. Yeah. But um, yeah, do you have anything else you wanted to say to the vlog this week other than that we think you're okay even though you bonked your head? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah? Are you okay? So yeah, I'm just really tired right now. Yeah, I think we might go play outside for a minute. And by a minute, I mean like 
as long as possible because I need to delay his nap time. It's only 12.25 and I like to try to make him go down for a nap just before 2 because that's what time I start working. But um, anyway, should we go do that? Should we go play outside? Yeah? Can you say bye to the vlog? Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. No? Okay. Well, bye guys.